Hey guys, glad to have you watching. In this video, I will be showing you my beautiful Campanota Singularis colony. They have grown a lot and they will be getting a new setup. I also received a lot of requests in the giveaway. So here they are. As you may remember, I have been keeping them in this tubs and tube setup with holes on the side. Back then, they had just one tube filled with workers and brood, but that has changed. So it's time for an upgrade. And like with the rest of the colonies, they will be receiving a glass aquarium. One with a wooden do-it-yourself lid. As you can see, both of the tubes are pretty busy right now. So giving them a third tube is not a bad idea. This may seem very spacious for the ants, but I've noticed that the Singularis workers love to walk around and explore. So I make sure I provide. Walking on glass is not a problem for them as well. One worker even managed to slip through the fluon barrier and managed to walk on the top. But besides a stubborn worker every now and then, the colony is really relaxed and an amazing one to spectate. The workers are really big and impressive and their coloration is absolutely beautiful. Black and red is a really nice combo. The size of the queen is even more amazing and I believe they can be around 2 cm big with majors that can be just as big. Unfortunately my colony hasn't reached that stage yet and that is a video for in the future. Another thing that I like a lot about this colony is the fact that they take really good care of their queen and it shows, always guiding her, keeping her clean and well fed. And as busy as they are taking care of their queen, they are just as busy with the brood, turning the pupae around so it will dry up evenly until it's hard enough to be opened. And the same goes for the larvae. Due to the fact that these ants are so big, it's amazing to see them cleaning and feeding the larvae. I mean, look how awesome this looks. And there she goes, on to the next larvae in line. I love watching their routines. The ants are curious but cautious when it comes to food. This ant already noticed something is going on always approaching like this with their head in the air. They are a big fan of sugar and it shows, slowly walking towards the goodies and feasting right away. And when she had enough, she heads back to the colony and informs the others. Usually the ants receive ant nectar as well, but I'm all out, so the beetle jelly will have to do for now. And I think the ants don't mind it that much. With protein it's a different story. The ants won't hesitate to taste sugars, but when I give them the roaches, they walk by a couple of times first, even if they had their sugars already. Look how careful this worker is, and I can imagine it's a roach ill. Just like these workers, it's looking like a picture, but they just freeze completely when they sense vibrations when they're close to the protein. And the rest of the workers, they're just doing their thing, not caring about the vibrations at all. So to get some decent shots of the ants eating, I could set up my camera or just sit very still for a very long time. I get the question a lot, why don't you upload more? Besides having a life beside my ants, I just can't make them do what I want them to do. And even then, it not always works out the way I want it to work out. Or like the situation right now, where I am sick for two weeks. So, if I get them on camera, on the third late night, even with terrible lightning, at an even worse angle, I'm very proud I could show you a couple of seconds of them eating their food. And to be honest, I think it's totally worth it. Just look at them. Bigger ants than average, eating a roach from the inside out, or licking the juices on the outside. Yes, this is the stuff you want to see before having your lunch or going to bed. Whether you like it or not, it's one of my personal favorite colonies. As fragile as they were, as delicate as they are now, and as strong as they will be. One of the few colonies that I'm super proud of, and I'm absolutely enjoying watching them grow more stable by the month. 
If you would like to see some of the previous footage of them, I will put it on the top of the screen. It really shows the colony has grown a lot. I had to tap the ends over and the colony was in a complete shock. Definitely worth watching. In my latest video we have done a giveaway and I got suggested to post the Singularis a lot. So I hope I fulfilled your needs. I would like to thank you for your interest in the colony and unfortunately I was only able to show you their new setup and their progression but not yet their new major. When the colony will have majors and reach an impressive size I will do a bigger video about them. And for the people that joined my giveaway thank you for participating. If you didn't win you can use the code CAMPONICO20 for a 20% discount of your purchase at the Aesthetic Ends web store. Only 5 codes are available, so make sure to be quick. And if you're too late of those, you can use the code CAMPONICO10 for a 10% discount. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed watching, please subscribe. I won't spam a lot and I will do my best to upload good quality without stretching. I have an end room with some amazing colonies and I will be showing you every one of them in a video right after hibernation. And for the ones that keep on coming back, please give me a little bit more support by liking and commenting. And this way YouTube will actually think my footage is nice to show to others and I might increase my audience a tiny bit. Thank you in advance, I really appreciate it. In the next video I will be showing you some of the newer colonies I got. And if you can't wait around for that video, please feel free to roam around on my channel. Thanks again for watching and I'm hoping to see you all in the next video. Bye bye!